morning, Spartans, and welcome back to another weekly Timeline broadcast. I'm Rachel Fallon. And I'm Madeline Shotton. NBU's Opera Theater Performance opens tomorrow night in the Performance Hall. Here's Dr. Jason Mallory with more information. Tomorrow night at 7.30 and Saturday night at 7.30, the Missouri Baptist University Opera Theater is going to perform Songs of the Arctic Fells by Urio Kilpinen and Solomon and Balkus by Randall Thompson. Admission is free. Grab a group of friends and go watch the performance. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Next Monday, the 11th at 11.30 a.m., there is an event being held in the dining hall where you get to build your own dessert. You get to make a tasty dessert box that can be given to that special someone. Dessert building is free on a first-come, first-served basis, so get there early to claim a spot. Next Monday night, we have another great free event for you. There'll be ice skating in Forest Park, free skate passes and rental for all MBU students. Transportation is also provided, but it is optional. A bus will be leaving the chapel next Monday at 6.15 p.m., then heading back to MBU at 9 p.m. If you'd like to drive yourself and a friend, feel free. There's parking right next to the rink, which is also free. Next Tuesday, February 12th, there will be a four-week course starting for women on self-defense. Rape Aggression Defense Training will be located in Spartan Village 401 and goes from 7 to 10 p.m. on Tuesday nights. And next Wednesday, February 13th, head on over to the park from 1 to 4 to create some Valentine DIY crafts with Res Life staff. You can craft, write notes, a memento, or something special for your Valentine, a friend, or even your roommate. Go and get crafty with your friends. Also, on Wednesday the 13th, intramural basketball is going on in the SRC from 8 to 11 p.m. If you're still interested in playing, there are still spots open for the women's and men's teams. Sign up before next Tuesday the 12th. And if you aren't playing, stop by and watch the game. Monday, February 18th is a big day for future Spartans. MBU is having the Spring Spartan Preview Day from 8.45 a.m. to 1 p.m. If you know someone thinking about coming to MBU, tell them to register for Preview Day. They get to walk the campus, meet fellow students and professors, and get the opportunity to check out the Perk, which is the largest on-campus coffee shop in Missouri. Be sure to welcome these future Spartans February 18th to MBU. Now let's toss on over to Ross with sports. What up Spartan Nation? I'm Ross Monroe and this is the Spartan Sports Shakedown. Tipping things off this week, we go to men's basketball. No surprise, they're still killing it out there. Sitting at 24-1, and one, they are absolutely electric on the court. Now the team does not have a home game until the 21st, but you can always live stream those games at mbuspartans.com. Men's volleyball is off to an awesome start, winning their first eight games. They're headed off to Iowa for a three-day, three-game road trip. But don't worry, because they'll be back next Wednesday when they take on Park University in the SRC. Baseball's back, baby. The guys had their first couple games last weekend, winning two out of the four on the road in Mississippi. Unfortunately, the boys won't be back on the home diamond until next Friday, so make sure to attend that, and it should be a great home opener. Men's and women's track and field got first place last weekend at the Jim Green Invitational in Illinois College. Way to represent. The MBU dance team got 5th out of 12 last Friday. They're done with their home schedule, but if you're looking for a little weekend adventure, both the cheer and the dance teams are competing right across the river in Belleville, Illinois this Saturday. Women's wrestling is headed to Atlanta for the WCWA National Championship. They compete tomorrow and Saturday. Good luck on your trip. We believe in you. Now it's time for my favorite segment, the Spartan Athlete of the Week. For this week, we need a pass it back to basketball, where we honor Pablo Hernandez. Pablo averaged 22 points per game in the 3-0 week for the team. This talented Spartan Spaniard posted a team-high 29 points in Thursday's win over Central Baptist College. He followed that up with a career-high 8 assists in their win over Lyon College Saturday. Congratulations, Pablo. You are the Spartan Athlete of the Week. Speaking of basketball, senior night's right around the corner on the 21st. Athletic Director Tom Smith says he wants to pack the pay with at least 1,000 supporters. So, come out, support the Spartans, and while supplies last, free t-shirts. Remember, it is a whiteout game. Well, that pretty much covers this week's Spartan Sports Shakedown. I'm Ross Monroe. Enjoy your Friday. Have a great weekend. Back to you. What started as a grassroots movement out of Atlanta, Georgia has turned into a worldwide phenomenon. 
Louis and Shelley Giglio, founders of Passion Ministries, started the End It Movement. It started to bring attention to the 27 million men, women, and children who are enslaved and used for labor, trade, and sex. Since its founding, over 2.7 billion red X's have been drawn on hands all over the world to raise awareness for this movement. If you want to get involved, all you have to do is draw a red X on your hand, take a picture with a group of friends, and post it to social media today using the hashtag EnditMovement. Let's band together as Spartans and end it once and for all. And for the pancake lovers out there, MBU Outdoors and MBU Nature are kicking off the spring semester with wearing flannels and eating pancakes tomorrow in the park. From 7.30 a.m. till 10 a.m., stop by the park in your best flannel shirt and eat some tasty pancakes with your friends on your way to class. Well, that's everything we have this week for the Spartan Update in the news for Timeline Broadcast. I'm Rachel Fallon. And I'm Madeline Shotton. Join the End It Movement today, Spartans. <laughs>